All right, just got 12.3 yesterday. And we are about to try it out. We are about to see exactly what goes down with 12.3. I don't know if I said 12.8 or 12.3, but let's let's start the drive, All right? Um starting to drive right from the driveway <clears throat> because I see man, what the hell I see that garbage can knocked over so what I want to know is what is it going to do alright everybody talk about how smooth it is and how good it is okay alright so it, it almost so it almost hit the garbage can. <clears throat> it just changed the route. It literally just changed. Kind of. Okay, and you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Shut up. Alright, that's cool. So I have to go in there and change it. <clears throat> um what the fuck? This duck. Right so it's on the other side of the street. This doesn't look like 12.3 behavior. So now it's on the right side of the street or the correct side of the street. I like how I did that though. It didn't creep out into the middle of the intersection and then go. My seat feels like it's back. So. All right. So the stop sign is up there. I don't know why I stopped back here. Hopefully you can see. We got a car coming and then we have another vehicle coming. After this second vehicle, it should be good to go. Okay. So it did it. That was, that was, that was pretty cool. <clears throat> I have noticed that I get a lot of nag and the videos that I've seen these people are not holding the steering wheel and they barely get any nag and I get so much nag and my car hasn't had a strike yet like my car has never had a FSD beta strike like not one so I don't know why mine is nagging the way it is also why are we not doing 40 why is the car not going 40 the car is doing 34 and I had my speed set to 40. Why are we not doing 40? Okay. Maybe, did it hear me? It went up a little bit. So may, maybe it's adjusting to the speed limit, right? Maybe it's trying to do the speed limit and not the speed that I specified it to do. Maybe. just a quick drive because I, I used it to go to work and it seemed pretty good it seemed very good um, my work is about a good 15 20 miles away from the house and I didn't have to disengage but I did have to hit the accelerator a lot except when I got on the freeway so for some reason when my car got on the freeway <clears throat> um, it acts like normal. It gets on the freeway. It does the speed that I specify it to do. But on regular streets like this, it's, it doesn't. So I got it set to 40. We should be doing 40, right, at some point. But I see it's, it's stopping like a mile. Okay, so now it's at 35. The speed limit is 35. Okay, so now it's going up. <clears throat> so maybe it's, you know, maybe... Maybe she hears me and she's tired of me complaining or something like that. But it's back down to 37. Maybe it is, and I don't have it on the auto speed thingy. I thought that was the problem, but I guess it's just FSD 12 when it doesn't want to, well, you know, go like it's supposed to. Nobody in front of us and yet it's being real hesitant very hesitant 
it did that turn really, really good. But now it's being real hesitant to do anything. It should be getting over in a minute. Okay. It's like the car is hearing me and just doing stuff as I'm saying it. This turn up here is not a problem. It's fully protected. Birth control, condom and everything. One thing I do notice about 12.3 is that it turns, it puts the turn signal on very, very early, which I like. I really, really like that because of how Tesla's like to stop. And they like to stop really, really fast. And the person behind you is like very surprised and they have to slam on the brakes. So I like that it at least puts the turn signal on early enough so the person behind you can say, oh, okay, well, you know, he's about to, okay, so we, we, we can go. <clears throat> so that was very weird. And it cut that, um, it cut the turn lane. That's why that lady was so back. People normally do that. They get back because people don't know how to drive. I, I'm guessing 12.3 is the same way. It's a way to turn where you don't even have to be anywhere near the turn lane. But I guess this thing does not doesn't comprehend. So I've been nagged about six times already. And I've literally haven't even driven a mile, I don't think. It must be a setting to turn it off and on. I really don't know. At this point, I really don't care. I'm just glad I got 12. Took him longer fucking enough, but it's here. <clears throat> I, I like the close following. Um, why is it slowing down? It's supposed to be accelerating. And I do have it on assertive. Oh, let me hit that. I do have this on assertive. I normally always have it on assertive now. So, you know, I'm expecting this thing to drive like a normal person, even though it hasn't been. We got a right turn coming up. I would assume that it would do the right turn, just no problem. Lickety split. Feet, turn right onto Ann Arbor Trail. But we'll see. That last turn was pretty stupid. It literally stopped. And I see why it was blinking red. It had to make sure no cars was coming, but no cars were coming. There was no threats. That was good. It was it was it was a lot slower than I would do it, but it was still good. It was still pretty good. So now we got this windy road. There's not really too many turns or anything. It's just, oh, we do have another turn to get onto the windy road. And it's gonna be um, just pretty much straightforward until we have to turn into wherever we have to turn into. All right, so I do have the speed. The speed limit right there is 35. I have it set to a certain percentage. That percentage makes it five miles over at 35. But for some reason, my car still wants to do 35 instead of 40. I, I guess that's not a problem. It's doing the speed limit. But nobody in Michigan does the fucking speed limit. Nobody. I guess it's up for the van behind me. So now, for some reason, I guess it heard me talking about it. <clears throat> I'm speed shaming it. And now it wants to try to get up to speed. But it took it a, like a good quarter mile for it to do that. Right time coming up here. This should be no problem. And I just want to see what happens when I get onto this street. Because this street, again, I think the speed limit is 40 on this street. And nobody really does 40 unless it's an old person. You know, did that turn pretty all right. I don't know what that symbol is. Going to the unnamed road, but 
we will see. All right, so it's, it's, it's okay, it's going down, but it's still going over the speed limit, which is good. Okay, we're doing 45. So that's what you have to do in order to get the car to do what you want it to do. You know, what you instruct the car to do. If, it, if it's still not doing it, you have to bad mouth it. You have to just run its feelings into the ground. Because really that's what, that's the only way to motivate somebody is when you talk about them or when you just beat the shit out of them. It like makes it so they'll say, how can I have that not happen again? You know, how can I have it to where, you know, good things are being said about me? <clears throat> A lot of birds and duckies on the side of the road. I don't see how you guys do it because uh, doing these drives with no music is driving me fucking insane. I need some kind of something to get my brain going. It's like I'm thinking too much. Like I got so much shit on my mind that I didn't know I had on my mind because the music was drowning all that out. And now it's... Yeah, I don't like this. So nothing really too bad on these roads. Normally, when we get to this part, it will go to the right for just for no reason at all. And now it's like centering itself. So it didn't stick to the yellow line to my left. It just centered itself. Which is that I guess that's not a problem, but you know, you got people behind you that's looking at you like, okay, what is he gonna do? Is he gonna, you know, get over? Is he gonna turn? I think there's a couple of more coming up and there's two miles. So we will see exactly what the car is going to do but I, I i am glad it's going 45 i know that much as you can see we are keeping the same distance with the car in front of us because again nobody does the, i don't even think anybody in america does the speed limit let alone your state and speaking of 12 we got the police right there and even they know like you know it's not a thing where oh they see you doing 45 and it's 40, they're going to pull you over. You could be doing 50 and they still wouldn't pull you over. A lot of times in here, they look for dangerous speeds. So I could, I can, I could bump it up, but I don't want to. I don't want to take that chance. But it's not really a chance. Got a lot of people on the road, a lot of electric cars on the road. Sunshine, but it's still cold as fuck outside. It looks nice, but it's not. At least we don't have any snow on the ground. We got stuff like this. The car used to stop when it came to these overpasses. But it just went right through it. Version 11, the car will actually slow down every time you got to a green light. I don't know what that's about. Like I thought you were supposed to do that at yellow lights and red lights. You know, why are you slowing down at green lights? But I don't think I've noticed that with this, with 12.3. 12.3 has been good for the most part. Um, the main thing that I've seen with 12.3, is not like the people in the videos are saying. It's really not. You know, I'm just taking from a regular ass guy who uses full self-driving beta all the fucking time. 12.3 is not to that level yet, but it is a huge leap from 11. It's a very huge leap from 11, but still got, it still has a lot of work that it needs to um, clock in for in order to get that check. We're about to make a left turn, some kind of weird left or some kind of something. It should be putting a turn signal on real soon. I just want to see what it does here. Because it is. I think it's where that where that van just pulled into. Okay. Turn signal. There you go. Now turn sharp left. All right. Sharp left, right? 
in the one way. Let's see if it if it takes it. So it doesn't take it because these cars are coming. But let's see how fast it turns after this. Okay, well, damn. All right, we got a yield sign, but this, you know, full self driving doesn't give a fuck about yield signs. All right, it did that pretty smooth. I would have did it a lot faster. But, you know, just to be on the safe side, I guess. All right, we got a right turn here with the arrow. Let's see if it sees the arrow. It's, it's stopping. There's an arrow. And we got people beeping the horn, but now the arrow is going away. So now it's the green. And it's taking, like, forever to turn. Yeah, so that that's that doesn't... To me, that is, that's not 12.3. That's still 11 right there. That's still 11. You know, I had a green arrow. It wasn't that bright, but I could still see it. The camera should be able to see it with ease, and it didn't go. Then when the light turned green, it still didn't want to go. We got Miss Daisy in front of us. So I like that. I like how I stayed close and this actually did a nice little slowdown. All right, now we're going back up. So now, now it's doing the speed limit for some reason. Or it's doing what I told it to do. Another right turn coming up. This should be P. See, it, it put the turn signal on way ahead of time instead of like turning it on right here. I like that because it lets people behind you know. All right, we do this turn. That turn was all right. That turn was pretty good. All right, so it's, it's pretty much just straight driving from here. Um, I've been nagged about 13 times. And, and, and again, I, I really don't know. I, is there some kind of setting where I can turn nag off or down? Because I keep getting nagged. Even with my hand on the steering wheel, I still get nags. All right, so for some reason, it's doing 37. And... It's supposed to be doing 45. I know you can barely see those traffic lights, but it, it's all it. Some odd reason, we're still doing 37. Let's go a couple of more driveways. And we hit this pole, no parking, and we're still doing 37. Now we got <clears throat> the people behind us kind of catching up, you know, gaining and soon to pass, or at least this guy. I know the speed limit down the street is um, 40. But I still don't know why in the fuck are we not doing 45. So now I see why we're not doing 45. But that whole way here, we should have been doing 45. I wanted to stay in this lane because I see there's construction going on up there. And the lane that I'm in ends. So we're gonna have to get to the left at some point. I just wanna see what this thing does. I know it's probably gonna do it correctly. It's just a matter of how it's a lot of people on the road, a lot of people in these streets. And a lot of shit can go bad within less than a second. I'm trying my best not to hit the accelerator. All right, light turns green and it takes off. It does what it has to do. Now, you may want to get it up to 45 this time. We got the old lady in the Buick behind us who's gaining on us. Now, she's attempting to get to the side. And now she's on our side. Road work begins right there. All right. So the car should see that I had to get over. Uh, I guess it's going to wait to the last minute and still do 37 instead of fucking 45. So now I was doing under the speed limit. Now we got this truck on our side, right? Let's see what the car did us. I was going to slow down. I was just going to slow down. Okay. So that was that was cool. I really don't have any complaints about that. But yeah, I got some complaints about that because 
it saw that truck way ahead of time. For one, I saw it back at the light. It should have been got over. And why the fuck are we still doing 37? Actually, 31 right now. Oh, I, I think it's because of the cones that it's going so slow. It normally does do that. But it didn't... Okay, all right, it slowed down a little bit. All right, well... Okay. Uh, Now we got the car behind us that had to... That was really fucking stupid. That was really fucking dumb. That could have been a collision. That literally could have been that Ford Edge behind us with putting the Ford logo in our ass. That's what that could have been. And it, it slowed down. The truck turned and it just kept not going. Like, it just stayed stopped. That's some really stupid, dumb shit. Now your destination is on so the we line. are here and it's stopping. All right, that's cool. It stopped. Just for shits and giggles, I'm about to pull over to the side and I'm going to see. All right. Why in the fuck do we want to go there? Um, let's go home. Let's see what. All right, that seemed like a. Let's see. Let's see these other ones. No, that's too straightforward. Let's do this one, all right? Um, let's just, just just for shits and giggles. What will it? What will it do? What is it going to do? And let's see if it still got us on the same route. Yep, it does. All right, you could have turned right there. In 500 feet, turn left. How do they get these fucking road. trucks in there? Them trailers. All right. So, let's see. Oh, that was stupid. All right. Is it going to try to pull out? Um, on to. So, it looks like it still got it. Yeah, it still got us going the same way, which I think is the same way back. Now, I appreciate it going slow in here because that's what you want to do just in case some dumbass pulls from out of one of these lanes, right? And they just want to jump right in front of your damn car. That ups the reaction time. So, it can go if it wanted to. It can really go. Listen, this ain't nobody really coming. And I'm, I'm just going to let it do its thing. If it really wanted to, it can go. If it really wanted to, it can go. I, I said you can go, damn it. Wow, look at that guy. That that guy knows what to do. My car doesn't. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Now turn left onto Joy Road. You sure do know how to work a fucking nerve. Wow. All right, why are we slowing down? Why are we slowing down? I guess. Are you, are you going to, okay, right, yeah, I feel it, okay. So for some reason, it keeps telling me to pay attention even though I am. Maybe I'm talking about it and it's getting mad. But for some reason, it's hugging the, the right side of the lane. And I don't know why. Maybe because of the cones over there and people may hug the left side of the lane going the opposite way. But it, I don't know why I was doing it. Just like it really, okay, yeah. So you can get over. You're going here, get over. Yeah, I want it. I want it so bad. So maybe, maybe that is it. So after the cones, maybe it will get back. But let's see. Uh, that's like the. Oh, come on, man. Let me put my hand on the wheel just to stop it. Okay, so now I did get back. So maybe it is. So maybe it was the cones that made this thing decide I want to get real close to this lane over here. Because this do seem like it's center now. I wanted so bad to hit the accelerator to make this thing go. But at the same time, I wanted to see what course of action it was going to take. Because that's that's a really hard lift to make right there, especially right there. And, you know, it had the biggest chance, and it was still acting like a bitch.
So yeah, I think this is just taking us right back the same way we came. I should have chose a different route. All right, so we passed 40, so that's a good thing. So we got some more construction up here, I guess something that I didn't see coming over here um, oh yeah we do have to make a left up there soon at the at the red light we could have made this light if we were doing 46 like we really could have but I'm, I'm just letting it do its thing so I hit a pothole yesterday because I thought 12.3 would have seen the pothole and maybe like just swayed the car just a little bit, but it didn't. It just ran right over it. I mean, it te technically wasn't even a pothole. It was a manhole with the asphalt like very, very high above the manhole cover but it was like very high to the point where you can see it and you will have to dodge it why in the fuck are we going 38 there's nobody in front of us immediately in front of us why are we going 38 I don't know if you saw that but the guy in the back of me just flashed his lights So we got this left turn slightly, you know, it's like a busted condom unprotected. Um, this should be pretty easy just for the simple fact that there's not many cars going that way, but there's no turn light either. And this light seems to be like a pretty long light. I just want to see how, a, how much of a bitch is going to be when it comes to turning in between cars or once the cars pass. They're doing a little creep up, which is cool. Previous versions will literally try to turn with the cars coming. All right, so we should be good after this trip. All right, that was that was pretty cool. I will give it to it for that. Oh, it is not the same way, that's right. So it's a little bit different. We got bro kill. Let's see if it, um, so it didn't run it over, but I don't think it saw it either or it recognized it as road kill. I will, I would much rather hit a dead squirrel or raccoon in the street than a, a pothole. So we're still doing 38 for some reason. Uh, 39, can we get a 40? Can we get a 40? I guess not. So for some reason we're doing 39. The cars in front of us are pulling away. The cars in back of us are pulling forward. And uh, we're still doing 39. And we're still doing 39 couple more mailboxes, right? Parking sign, and we're still doing 39. In 500 feet, turn right Let's see, 500 feet. Road. Well, of course it's not gonna be doing 39 because it has to stop. Now turn right onto Warren road. So that was pretty good. It, it, it got over um, like it knew what it was doing. No no turn on red signs so we good for turning on red so after this truck we are good to go nobody crossing the street which they shouldn't be what in the foot oh you know what it is well no I guess, I guess not that was cool it took his uh sweet ass time but it still went let's 
So, still 46. And for some reason, we are still doing 37. I don't even have an auto speed limit thingy on. And it's still driving like Miss Daisy. So it, it, it started accelerating, and then it stopped, or it slowed down. I don't know why it's doing that. So we're currently going 10 miles under what I'm telling it to do. And again, I really want to hit the accelerator. But I just want this thing to, uh, I mean, I guess learn, at least get this end straight. I see we got a student driver over there who's like driving the same exact speed we are. Uh, he actually just passed us, or she, whatever it is, just passed us. So I guess they're doing better than us. We're going to get hit by every single fucking light because of how fast she's driving. Or should I say, how fast she's not driving. So I guess that was cool. We would have got stopped by those cars anyway. Got a huge truck coming right at us. So at least he got music over there. Damn. I will say that 12 does a good job at seeing the light go from red to green and then accelerating. So when it comes to accelerating um, from a dead stop, it's gotten way better. Um, when it comes to accelerating, like I'm in this lane and somebody wants to make a right turn and have to slow down, when it comes to accelerating after they do the turn, it, it does a great job. When it comes to accelerating, even after somebody turns in front of me, it still does a great job. It doesn't like slam hard on the brakes. It, you know, drives kind of fluid, I should say. Like, just like that. You know, I see that as pretty good. I see that as really, really good. But I don't see this as really, really good. That's two people that passed us. So 35. Wow, this thing is going fucking slow. Three people that passed us. Okay, now it wants to do something. I don't know what's wrong with this thing's brain to make it say, okay, I got to go a mile before I up the speed. You should be upping the speed whenever you can. But I do see it's kind of leaving like huge gaps in between the car in front of me. I don't know why it's leaving such a huge gap. That's like two semi trucks worth. And I don't think you can change that in the settings, like the following speed. I, but I do have it on assertive and she acting chill. Uh oh, oh, okay, all right. I saw that wheel turn, I thought they were about to do some donuts or something like that. Yeah, you see what that Jeep is doing? That's what you should be doing. Get ahead. Okay, now I kind of see that. You know, the Jeep kind of, I don't know what the fuck that Jeep is trying to do. It's acting like a Tesla now. You know, I should have put the auto speed limit thing on on the way back. I should have done that. Just to see if it was a difference. Just to see if it is learning how to fucking drive, which it should know how. At least we up to 40.
All right, so we got a, a green light and it's still going kind of slow. This seemed like it would be great with the speed, right? If you are in rush hour traffic, then you would engage this, and that way you don't have to, you know, foot on, foot off, foot on, foot off. You can just go with the flow of traffic because, you know, if it's rush hour or if it's a lot of cars, then these cars will be going a lot slower, right? Because they don't have that runway. They have cars in front of them that they have to uh, follow. But... I mean, there were times, at least in this video, where there was nobody in front of us and this thing was doing well under the speed that I specified for it. So it did move a little bit for that trash. It didn't have to move, but it still did move a little bit. It didn't get into the left lane, but it got close to it. My windshield is fucking dirty. Didn't just notice that. So we got this nice little slow down stop, right? And then it goes again. Bam. What's wrong with that? Now, why didn't it do that with that truck when it just stopped and stayed there? And down there got us um, booty warrior. Thing. You know, what What happened? Oh, is he going to try to get in front of us? Why is it nobody in this lane? Why is everybody over there? This is like the perfect opportunity for a Tesla because you could just shoot off. But watch watch all of those cars we just passed, past us going up here. And we have to make a left in a minute. Did the air come on? Why the fuck did the air just come on? Oh, you know what? I think it's this. Uh, oops, nope. Okay, that was perfect. That was fine. Keep going. Keep fucking going. Keep fucking going. So it, it, you did that just to get in front of these people, and now you're going to go slow still? Okay, yes. Yeah, 41. 41. 42. 42. 42. Wow. Ugh. I mean, they're, they're, nobody's passing it, so I guess that's a good thing. Let's see if it waits for the opening, or if it, is it going to see the cars and say, okay, I need to get over. Okay, turn center on. That's great. Um, that was pretty fucking stupid. All right. Are we going to make this light? No, we're not. We are not. Wow. I mean, that car could have went. Just being a, a bitch like me. Or should I say like her. Um, you know, I do have it on auto. I really did forget how to unhinge the other side from this side. Um, oh, that's it. Okay. That's how you do it. So we got this. This is a pretty busy, uh, busy intersection. Even when your light is green, people will still be going, you know, north and south. So they have a red light and they'll just go. And they just won't give a fuck about your turn sign. Um, that truck just got real close to the line, to this turn lane. Because again, people here do not know how to drive. And 12.3 is uh, really showing that off. All right, so let's see what it does. We got a car all the way back there. It's, it's turning. It can go. It can go. It can. So I'm going to hit the accelerator. Because that, e that even pissed me off. This, this is not giving me 12.3 vibes. It's not giving me 
everything people were saying vibes. Like, people were praising this. Well, why the fuck didn't she just go when there was no cars coming and it was a blinking red? Like, you know what a blinking red means, right? Right? No. So, the speed limit on this street is 45. Why are we not doing the fucking speed limit? Why are we slowing down? Why are we yielding to cars who are supposed to be yielding to us? Why are we doing 32? Why are we doing 33? Why are we not doing 51 like we're supposed to be doing? What in the fuck is happening? Wow, 45, it's the speed limit. And we're doing 10 miles under the speed limit. Now turn right onto Stacy Street. We didn't even touch 45 for that whole stretch. And I was like half a fucking mile. A bitch like turn. It could have turned way faster than that. We got a, a battery of stop signs coming. All right. You can go. You can go. Cause, because if I can see, you can see. So, so go. Well, at least it's not on the other side of the street. Okay. What the fuck was that? Like really? What are you what are you waiting for? What are you doing? It can't be the sun in your eyes. Because you don't have eyes. But you do have a protected camera lens that should be able to see. I mean the sunlight should be good for you. So I don't know what the difference was between that intersection and this intersection. But it really was hesitant like it was some ghost cars at that last intersection. And the one we just did, it just went. All right, we way behind the stop sign on this one. The stop sign is like right, we should be. In 500 feet, turn right onto North Berry Street. All right, that was cool. And then you go. And then you fucking go. And then you... Uh, come on, man. Now turn right onto North Berry Street. I will say that. Okay, no stop sign, right? Yeah, I will say that it is, it is behaving a lot better. And... Um, it is like a student driver. Like, how a student driver would be hesitant. But I do have it an assertive. And this thing is literally supposed to be asserting its dominance well, on the fucking road. Left. And it's not. Alright. Um, that ride just pissed me the fuck off. I'll see y'all on the next one.